for you, man. Nine frames only. <laughs> Nine frames, dang. FB4 is an ISO 125 film which was released originally in 1968, almost 10 years before Kodak's Tri-X first hit the shelves. On their website, Ilford FP4 Plus is shown to be a medium speed, all purpose black and white film with very fine grain and outstanding sharpness. Ilford go on to say that it has superb exposure latitude and Below it's 125 ISO, this makes it very capable for photographing most subjects and scenarios and varied lighting conditions. Yeah, well no, it was further along. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, that's right, yeah. Can you shoot Ilford FP4 at box speed? Of course you can. You definitely can shoot this film at box speed. When you first use it for a shoot, you'll find the film will give you really pleasing results particularly in its grain and especially if you're using strong lighting conditions what are some reasons for shooting with this film number one you can shoot with it in any situation that's one of the greatest things about this film you could use it indoors outdoors you could shoot portraits landscapes you could shoot architecture you could shoot macro Whatever it is that you want to shoot, you can get out and shoot with this film. So it's a great film to have nipped in your bag somewhere. You can whip it out and use it in any situation, wherever you might be. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, the trees, nice example. They're recording all of this. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> No. Secondly, picture this, you're at a friend's party or perhaps even at a wedding reception and definitely have a roll of this in your back pocket or in your bag. Its wide latitude of exposure will allow you to shoot in variable lighting conditions. Just don't forget to process it accordingly or get your favourite film processor to do it for you. Thirdly, it is a significantly cheaper alternative to using Neopan Acros 2 or even using Kodak black and white film. It's a little bit more basic, but actually the results that you're going to get from it are going to be very, very similar than what you'd get with Neopan Acros or with Kodak T-Max or Tri-X, for example. So if that's an important factor for you, then you should definitely shoot with this film. Fourth reason, it's fantastic in strong light, particularly harsh sunlight. So if you're gonna be somewhere where it's gonna be like that, then make sure that you've got a roll of this. It also has really good tolerance to 
bad exposure. So if you don't have a light meter with you, or you don't have one, you're kind of guessing, you'll probably get some good results regardless of how you end up shooting with it, obviously within its parameters. Fifth, you're on a budget. We've already talked about the fact that it's cheaper than using Neopan A-Cross or Kodak, but also you can buy this in bulk and that will significantly reduce the costs of shooting with this film. So if you're planning on shooting black and white and you want something which is consistent and gives you a great result, then buy it in bulk. Roll up your own film at home and that will save you a lot of money too. Okay, so there's probably two main reasons why you probably don't want to shoot with Ilford FB4. First one is that its contrast is a little bit of a disappointment. So if you like having that in your images, then you probably don't want to shoot with this film. The grain structure is good, but the contrast is a little bit yeah. Secondly, if you're based outside the UK, North America, Australasia, wherever it might be, then it might be more expensive for you to get hold of this film. And so cost effectively, it may not be the best option for you. But at the end of the day, you should know your own style. And if this is the right one for you, you should definitely check it out. What can you take away about Ilford FP4? It's definitely worth you getting a roll and checking it out. It's medium speed will allow you to shoot in a large variety of situations, whether that's in the studio, whether that's outside on the street, or even shooting landscapes. You're gonna get some fabulous results due to its wide exposure latitude. With that in mind, definitely take the time to work with this film, especially if you like the grain on it and you like images with a little bit more controlled contrast in it. Certainly, definitely worth trying in lots of different scenarios. Take it for a walk wherever you might be and see what you get.